There weren't a lot of people who believed uh, that the Canadian coal industry could be revived in Northeast BC. Mark had a difficult, you know, had the difficult task ahead of him to convince his stakeholders, his employees, uh, that Kanuma is in it for the long haul and that they are the company to support and get behind. I think Mark was somebody who was the right person at the right time in the right place for uh, bringing Kanuma back in the Peace River coal field. So his vision combined with his energy and natural leadership skills uh, was what was needed. People needed to believe that there could be a company that could succeed in Northeast BC after some very tough years in 2013, 14, and 15. Really, Mark's focus was on how do I develop these mines in concert with the communities and the First Nations in the area, and that was extremely important to him. His position is not just a job, but it's a vehicle for him to make positive impacts in the local communities, the schools, the employees, and their families. You could see how passionate he was about what was going on and getting the mines back up and going, and, and just his excitement about the entire project and the community and all the investment that, that he personally had made into it. So when, when Mark showed up, he's kind of a, a natural Pied Piper personality. People needed to be led and needed to have a message that they could believe in. Uh, as a group and I think he was, uh, he had a, a very, very good talent uh, for bringing those people together and getting them to believe uh, in the power of what a group can accomplish. He got involved with the people and interacted. He was genuine. He listened to the stories. He gave people his time and he wanted to help in any way that he could. He brought his family to the community. He was interacting in all of the events that we had. He was there to be seen. Mark had that drive, that vision, the approach and the attitude to get the, the buy-in of the, of the community and the employees really at a grassroots level. And I think as a result of his passion and of it, just his commitment to our students, we have several students now who are thinking about uh, careers in mining who may not have been thinking that way before. Mark had a lot of credibility. What he said he would do, he did. Uh, I have a great deal of respect for him and his approach, not only in how he deals with the issues we've just spoken about in community or First Nations, but with his employees. It's clear that he developed a relationship uh, with his employees and staff that seen these mines move forward in a manner that everybody supported working there, and uh, it's not always that way. It's his life mission um, to see the gifts that God's given him, be able to be put into the corporate world, uh, and be able to flourish in, in a corporation like this coal mine, in the coal industry period. What motivates him is pretty easy. What you see is what you get. He's a natural born leader. Uh, he likes to teach people, he likes to mentor. Uh, and he's obviously a person of great faith. Faith means everything to him and his family. Mark is a man of great faith, and you can see that in everything he does. Uh, he's got the most giant heart I've ever seen or been around. He's the most giving person uh, I've ever seen. Without Mark's uh, dedication early on, uh, there wouldn't have been a Kanuma Coal Resources as we now know it. So uh, given that <laughs> we're the second largest uh, producer, I think it really is a testament to Mark's uh, uh, initiative uh, right out of the starting gate. So I don't think there's a more deserving person the CAC could give the award to this year uh, than Mark. I appreciate that I grew up in a family where my father uh, didn't just tell us to work hard, he showed us how to work hard and then has allowed us to come alongside him and learn um, until, we, until we do that one day. Yeah, Mark, uh, he, he, he seems to have like these outstanding speeches, so about anywhere you go with Mark, when he has a chance to take the stage, uh, it's just where he thrives. You can tell by the applause that someone usually gets, how, how passionate they are and how, how much they've moved the audience. And I, I remember that, that, that one particular occasion in Chetwin where Mark uh, brought the crowd to a standing ovation because of his passion, so uh, I fondly remember that moment. Mark, congratulations on the award. Uh, we just want to thank you for everything you've done for us. We, we really appreciate everything you've done for Canoe McColl. Appreciate uh, the big heart that you've shown us, and we look forward to seeing what you do with that big heart in the future, and, and uh, we really want to thank you for everything that you've taught us. I'm proud of you, Dad. Congratulations. Many people have come and went in Tumblr Ridge, but I don't think any have impacted as many people as what you did. Mark, uh, congratulations on receiving uh, a well-deserved award. We're all looking forward to the, uh, the, the second edition of your volume of uh, integrity process, uh, and we hope that you spell our names correctly uh, and that you feature Kanuma prominently 
in volume two of your book.